If you are looking for healthy, fast, cheap, home style cooking, this is the right channel for you. My name is Esti from Esti in Sweden. Do check out the video description links for more information. <laughs> for more information, see, it's a bit still too short. So, guys, welcome back. My name is Essie. Today, we are going to cook Swedish plank steak. Mm -hmm. Swedish plank steak is something that uh, LG always dreaming about eating, but you know, because I don't eat so much of a beef, I'm not a beef person, so we don't eat so much at home. But today I'm going to show you how to do this plank steak. It's really simple to do and I'm sure you can do that too. The only thing that you need is something like this. Okay, I'm going to, you see in those of you who are in um, YouTube, right? You can see there is one wooden board, right? Something like a burn board, right? So that is a board that you need to make this dish. But I'm going to show you how it looks like. So actually, you don't really need to buy one, but if you have a board like this, this is actually a wooden chopping board. I do not know what kind of wood is this, but uh, this is uh, typically used for making this dish. This is a very common dish you can find in Sweden. Most of the restaurants, they have it. They call that the uh, common, we call that the Husman, uh, which is a really common Swedish dish found in Sweden. So I don't know where, when do people eat that? LG is going to answer your question later on because he's supposed to do the live stream instead of me, right? So, but I'm going to just uh, uh, do all the, we call it the till her, means the accessories or the side dishes. So don't forget, all right, to stay on through the end and then you see the finale of this dish, okay? So you need this, uh, plants that it's just like um, we call it the hot plate in the, in Asia but you know the hot plate is made of iron but this is made of wood so can you use other kind of wood I think so uh, you just need to find that it is has to be thick enough and it will it is able to withstand the temperature so I already set up the oven, which is uh, 225 degrees. So this is going to be a really nice potato, yeah, around this. So, and then on top of that, there will be the steak, and then we have some uh, side dishes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you have been uh, watching my preview, uh, premiere for this live streaming, you saw there's a picture of that. So more or less, we try to duplicate as close as possible the most important thing in this dish is the potato the potato mush all right so i'm going to show you uh, how to do it uh, lg did that i don't know when the last time he made that it was so uh, mushy maybe it was too much butter so today i'm going to reduce on the butter so the potato that i'm using let me just bring you guys closer uh, see if you can come down here Facebook okay a lot of things right here so a potato uh, it's going to be uh, the there's two types of potato basically so you want to find the potato that is a little bit uh, not the starchy one but the powdery one uh, in Sweden it is very common you buy the powder one or you buy the more uh, uh, sticky one so this one is actually a powdery one. So I bought a few. Uh, LG doesn't like to eat potato. So I'm going to make this just more on my plate and a little bit on his. Right, LG? You don't like potato, right? So, mousse, yeah. Potato, I'm going to mousse it. So this has already been boiled in some salt water. So I'm going to just quickly mousse this. So bear with me, all right? The same. And you probably, guys, probably what is LG doing, right? He's cleaning. He's doing some cleaning. So, just make sure that this is, make sure that this is still warm. Because you're going to put the rest of the ingredients in here, the butter. 
If you don't have a mixer like this, you can also use a fork, but then you know it will take you like 100 years to mix this. Okay, if you want to make this much easier to mousse, you can add a little bit of butter. While this is still hot, I'm going to add some butter. Uh, I'm going to add, uh, you know, trying to lose some weight. So just a little bit first. And then you want to add an egg in here. Okay, and then a little bit of a cream. If you don't have cream, you can add milk or so. And then, of course, you need some salt and pepper, right? So I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of salt because this, remember, this potato has been boiled in salty water. So you just need a little bit. And some white, white pepper. Okay, and then now we're going to mousse this. to do this is to put them in a the mixer but you know I'm too lazy to take out that mixer so I'm doing this way In my eyes, this one, this potato doesn't look like the one that is a powdery one. It looks to me more like the starchy one. Maybe I bought the, bought the wrong type of potato. I say use a uh, what we call that the um, a mixer so that it is more fine and even. I wonder if this is going to be <laughs> look like it's very runny. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up doing like algae. Did the before the runny one, so make sure, right? Don't uh, get this type which is too starchy for me. So now you want to check also, you know, you want to make sure that this is fine, very smooth. You don't want this to be like a, I think this is not so smooth, yeah. Because this is going to be in the in the mixer, so I think I'm going to run this a bit more because it doesn't look like it is so smooth on the other side. On this side, because you don't want this to get stuck later on. <laughs> Oh, 
satisfied with the result but you know still I still feel like it is not uh, not the type that I want I wonder if I can do something about it to make it like you know not so running maybe I add too much too much too much uh, cream so add a little bit at a time, all right? Don't add too much like me. Okay, now this is done. So now you want to pipe this. So I'm going to pour this inside this. I don't know whether you guys can see. You can see it. Very difficult to see, yeah? Facebook. Okay, we're going to pipe this one in here. So I'm going to try <laughs> because I'm so short. Let me see if I can do this a, a, a easier way because it's too much. Uh, otherwise, I put them on my sink here. Yes. All right, I'm going to put them on my sink there so you can see. Because it's lower, my height is like, oh, up here, I can't see nothing. Okay, there Tidigare är sklink patatis, men de lyckas inte va? Ja, det var så platt. Ja, just det. Man visste det. I was telling LG, I said, you know, I think we, I remember you made this once. It was not so successful because it was so flat. Okay, this should do the job. Mm. So now this is the challenging part. <laughs> you want to pack this over to this planka. This is the planka. You know the. Can you guys see? Okay, the planka. I have planka number one. This is the wooden board. So you want to be able to do it quite quickly because you want to. Put them in the oven right away. Just pray that this will work. Oh, I got into potato on my hand. Maybe I was too greedy, making too much. You see? Maybe you shouldn't put too much of the heat over. Maybe just throw up some first. Because I can't grip the top part. This was what happened. I put too much and then it becomes like in a mess on top. So you want to just squeeze this out. You see what I mean? Uh, if you are, oh, oh, it doesn't come out. Okay, let me just try. Ooh. Sometimes it because that is that's why I said when you do this, you want to make sure that the potato is like very fine, and if it is like this, it gets stuck and it's not so good. You can't pipe out the thing. So I'm gonna do <laughs> the very amateur style all right because i think this is probably stuck uh, let's see if i can get rid of the piece yeah it is one big piece that is stuck here you see when it gets stuck nothing goes You 
See, it gets stuck again. Okay, guys, I gave up. So I'm going to do like the normal style, right? I'm going to just remove this one. This is a live streaming gone fail. <laughs> So make sure you don't do like me. Eh? <laughs> uh, I'm going to just squeeze them like that, like a big, big ball. Oh, this is nice too. Look like cream puff. Okay. Because today the team is supposed to be fast and easy. This doesn't look like fast to you, right? <laughs> but anyway, just for fun's sake. I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the potato so that I get this nice, nice uh, potato balls. Planka number two. Oh, three. Uh, you probably wonder how much does this dish cost, right? Uh, if you, if this is like, uh, if you're gonna eat them in the restaurant, uh, it's about hundred. And ninety nine kruna, which is about let me see in in American dollar, Swedish, it's about Singapore dollars forty. So that's about American dollar twenty bucks for a dish like this. So you can make this at home, uh, and I bought everything from the supermarket. So of course it's. Uh, it's not cheap also the meat because I'm using quite a good piece of meat here. Where's the cock? <laughs> the chef is hiding somewhere. Yeah. So guys, this is the planka number one and planka number two. So this is going to be quickly uh, to be into the oven. So let me just go to the oven with this. And luckily, I am quite smart. I put them in here. So it fit just nice. So for two person. Alright, so you want to bake this in the oven to 225 30 degrees Celsius until it's golden brown on top. Or rather it's like slightly burnt. So that chef is uh, no nobody you can trust. Okay, he said that he's coming, but he's not coming. But anyway, I'm going to show you the rest of the thing. So you cannot depend on people. Yeah, especially people who are like his caliber <laughs> i said that you know you're supposed to do live streaming oh really must i i said no you don't have to but if you don't want it i can do it myself so now i'm going to make the rest of the ingredient but i'm going to show you what we need uh, this is um, 
So Facebook people is like so low right today. <laughs> okay, let me just remove this. This is just some vegetables that I wrap in uh, bacon, no seasoning, tomatoes, and some onion. So I'm going to saute this, and this is going to be uh, served together as a side dish. And when this is done, I'm going to pan fry the the entrecot. So this is going to be, you know, all assembled onto the platter. So let me just turn on the heat. And I'm going to put some oil. Not oil, but... Uh, butter. So you need quite a bit of butter for this. And then you want to put in the vegetable. I'm going to put in the bacon one first. Not too hot. Alright, and then some onion. And the tomato. So you want to just saute this. Turn it on up the suction because it's getting smoky here. And if you like, you can just sprinkle some salt. I'm going to do that. And a bit of pepper. Started to be brown already. I tell you, this is the last time I'm going to make this dish because somebody wants this dish and he doesn't want to work for it. So that's it, okay? I'm pissed off now. <laughs> Seriously. You want this dish? You don't want to make them? Okay. So I'm going to let him make more live streaming in the future if he wants to eat. Otherwise, you have to stick on to my nasty Asian food, right? No, I'm just joking. So, but you know, he has a lot of things to do. I understand that he's busy, but. Uh, that is why I, you don't see so much of a him because he's a very shy person. And he says things like sometimes, uh, you know, it, it's not appropriate for the channel. So seriously, I, I feel like this, you know, I don't want to force him. If he wants to be in the program, if he has to do it. But this time, he said that he wants this, I think he should come and help me out, right? Instead of running away. So now you see what kind of person LG is, really is, so you know. Not somebody that you can trust completely, alright? So you have to be your mind, keeping your mind. Sometimes we, we human are just like that. 
you just want to make sure that uh, you know we keep up to our words when we promise something we have to follow through right so okay i'm going to transfer this over to a plate not a plate but a small small like a form here lg this is the last planta i'm going to make my whole life so you're not going to have any more planta and so please because you're supposed to help me but you didn't help me so what did i do you say i told you i said i'm going on live now and then you just run away okay this is the last time i ever make this planta you guys heard that he's totally not reliable at all and, and I told did I do it, and what did I do? Run you just away. run away, yeah. Yeah, I wet the floors upstairs. Yeah. Wet the floors downstairs here. Yeah, wet but you, stairs, you're supposed downstairs. to come and help me. You don't do that first, okay? Totally unreliable. You cannot depend on them. Okay, now I'm going to off this heat now. This is the first time I've ever been so pissed off. You know, with uh, live streaming. So now again, he run away. That's what men do. Always running away all the time. No more planka for you. Next time. Not this is the last time I ever make. Okay, you want to put this in the oven. Alright, and you want to eat and you don't want to work. That's the thing. Always expect me to cook everything for you. I did everything from start to the end. Now it's almost to the end. Okay, now keep in control, guys. Sometimes when you have a man like this around you, you have to cool down. You know, it's it's really unfair, right guys? They want to eat and they don't want to help out. So I'm going to start from now. I'm going to just cook the things that I want to eat. I don't really care about what he wants to eat anymore. Fair, right? You don't eat. You don't, you don't help, you don't eat. This is my philosophy. And he's supposed to be cooking like half of my time, but I'm cooking like 99, 95.9% .9 of the time. LG, right? That's your it is, liking. It's it like is, it is, it is, it is like time. that. Yeah, it is like that. a meal for the person that you love and care about and this is what you get yeah so now I'm just gonna heat up I just melted the butter I put in the garlic so I'm going to just uh, put the meat on just slowly slowly heating up the oil and you just want to cook this so to season this you have to put some salt and pepper I'm going to put some salt and pepper here this is not working at all. You need some help, you got no help. Right? Some salt. I think I've spoiled him, yeah? I spoiled bread, spoiled him like crazy, and I think. He should time, you know, learn his lesson. You don't laugh, you know, this is not funny. I'm so pissed off now. Uh, let me see. Where is the black pepper? And then I'm gonna put my the meat on here. The seafood. 
This is as seen in real life, okay? So this is purely live streaming. This is what he gets. This is what he gets when he doesn't help us in the house. So I bet you guys, women, don't be a slave, all right? Just, you know, sometimes you so have to I teach have them a lesson. Going to a and for my cat ass. No, you need a cat. But you are supposed to come and help me. I told you that. I said, come and help me. I'll start off first. And then you say yes. Yeah. So, okay. and but then I was supposed to, to come and help you with the white in the floor. No, I mean. Okay, now I need some time. Some time. And you want to make sure that this is not so much because time is a bit strong. Uh, I'm supposed to put this in the oven so I don't have time to put this in the oven. Nobody help me. I have to struggle with myself. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Where in the oven? Underneath. Underneath. Alright ladies, it's perfectly okay to be angry, alright? Sometimes it's perfect, it's only healthy, right? LG, it's healthy to be angry, right? He just bash him and, you know, swing him around. Sometimes you need to be taken, sometimes you need to be listened and you need to be taken seriously. And who is supposed to fix this later on? The yeah, you're going to fix yeah. it. Gonna that's fix it. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So I don't do anything. Yeah. When he fix this, he doesn't fix it 100%. You know? He still has to keep like at least 5% for me to clear it. So I can guarantee you that, okay? I can film it and show it to you guys. Okay, now this is done. I'm just going to just let this uh, stay in the pan. And let me show you what is here, alright? This is uh, the Benny sauce. We bought the ready-made one. So I'm just going to keep this off. And just let this warm up. And then later, you're going to plate everything together. <laughs> Can you put away all these things away? Okay, let the meat heat up just slowly because uh, you don't want half really fully cooked, right? The meat you want medium, right? You know, guys, it's perfectly okay. Right? I told you before, it's perfectly okay because it is good. That sometimes you have to show your true color. If you don't show your true color, you just suck it in. And then he doesn't know, your husband doesn't know, your boyfriend doesn't know that you are peace. This is really bad for your health, alright? Am I right? <laughs> he's looking at me like, he's so guilty. <laughs> Don't give me that guilty look, okay? I won't take that look. Okay, now this is slowly, slowly warming up. So clear the plate too. This plate. Yeah, we don't need that. I think the potato is almost done. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put them on plate. Yeah, totally green. So that we can have dinner. Alright, when you make the potato, you want to make them about 250, right? So now, uh, you guys, uh, I'm going to show it to you, don't worry. Uh, and the last five minutes, you want to put them on the grill. So when it's grilling, it's just browning on the surface. So it gives this potato a very nice burn to it. include you in my live streaming you know i'm not going to do that anymore i understand you don't like and i have to respect that but you know 
can you at least show some support for me mentally? You know that I'm a YouTuber from the beginning. It's not like after you know me for one year, right? So you have to be pre prepared mentally that, you know, I have to do the, my things. I have complained about it. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to turn off this heat. This is like a little bit burning. Okay, so you want to just put them aside so that it's warm. Let me just take a look at the paints. Okay, ooh, it's nice. At least better than the one that made earlier on. Uh, we need some space for the meat. We have to put this aside. I'm going to let this meat rest because this is like medium. Okay, I'm good. I already let this meat rest, so I'm just going to cut them into smaller, smaller pieces. So guys, the stock, the stock here, don't throw it away, okay? I like to pour them inside the sauce. It, because this flavor is so much flavor. So just mix them. Taste it and see if it is salty enough. Is it salty? Yeah, it's okay. For me? Mm. Mm, it's nice. So, let me just cut this. The reason why I cut it is because actually you can cut them on the planta, but I think it can be a little bit uh, busy on the on the what you call that on the planca. What do you call planca? On the wooden board, right? So cut them into smaller pieces so that I could serve them. Okay, let's put this. I'm gonna put this. Transfer them. Um, we have this color going to be Alright, you have to transfer this first, right? So, this is like a rubber uh, cock. <laughs> uh, we call it for the underneath. So, I'm going to lift this up. And let me just start off with this one. And be careful, it's hot, yeah? So you want to transfer this gently. And then the next one.
if this is has been a uh, yen, we call it the uh, iron. iron. It can be a problem because it's going to be really hot. So first, I want to put the meat. He didn't help me, so he's gonna take this one. <laughs> he is standing there with his lips closed. It's like it's a guilty look. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, followed by this tomato. Tomato usually like to put at the corner. Getting this right. You think so? You dare not say no. <laughs> Later, gonna <laughs> hump up. LG. How many do you want? Three. So much of the vegetable. He's not a vegetable guy. Look at that. Ooh. And then you don't want to waste this juice here. You want to pour this juice on top of the meat. Ta da! And then lastly, can you guys see or not? <laughs> He likes Bayani sauce, so he's great getting more. But I'm not a big fan of Bayani sauce. This is it, my plum stick. How about that, guys? Doesn't it taste? Looks delicious. Okay, let's have a taste, okay? Can you move this one the, with the cloth to the table? And with the underneath? So we can taste out a little bit. Let's see. Facebook. We can have a taste before we go. It's yours or mine? Uh, I think this is yours. The other one is mine. Uh, how nice! Yeah, it's going out. Wow! Small, small, small. This way, eh? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, this way, like this. This is nice uh, looking. So Look! Beautiful <laughs> food. So LG is going to taste it and then we will have a... Have a wahetta there. And I'm going to take a picture later on and put them in my Instagram and on my Facebook and on my YouTube. Yeah, it looks good, the potato, huh? Yes. Hmm. Let's see if this is good. Algae. 
the the verdict. Hmm. <laughs> I can feel the bitterness of the chef in the taste. The bitterness. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm bitter. <laughs> No, it's good. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to eat myself. So you guys, it's okay to fight and kill your man. <laughs> okay? It's only healthy, right? After that, we can make up. Yeah? So, cheers. Happy Friday. And then um, we'll see you uh, on Sunday. I will be cooking my home recipe but I think I want to do another live streaming on Chinese New Year because I realized that I have a lot of video on my Chinese New Year playlist so I'm going to be doing just a short one to let you guys uh, updates on what is happening on my Chinese New Year plan when, when Chinese New Year? Uh, it's middle of next mid, month mid, mid February yeah if I'm yeah. not wrong it's middle This is not wine, this is Aronia Berry. And I'll see you. I'm going to enjoy my meal now. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Finish. You see, Facebook doesn't want to close. Okay. Bye bye, Face YouTube. Ma, have to take.